teams looking to clean the skeletons out of their closets to exercise their demons. And what better place than Split to see how it all shakes out. Genji on the attack side. Mimi was talking about Lakia turning back the time and playing that solo initiator once more. What a legend he was, but it seems like it's Boo who wants to take the spotlight. Traded though, one for one. Exactly, great trade from Meteor, and that slows the round down. Nothing being used. Now a Sky Dog committed on the A ramp to get info that Meteor is still here. It does connect, and Woot, he wants to punish, but there's support. Yeah, the problem is he doesn't know that there's support. Oh, there's the surprise. There's more there than you thought. <laughs> yeah, I saw two players at the other end right there. That's the cue for Genji to once more slow the round down. Karen. He already ran up in B main off the start of the round earlier, broke that Cypher cam. Now he's taking all that mid real estate. A deep smoke, a little cover provided as Genji venture forth into heaven. And an even spread, they're making the right read, the right call right now, transitioning to B. It's all up left. to Benji Fishy. In Can a grand final on the last map. Can he deliver again? The trip will catch the first, a stumbling block put before Genji's hopes and dreams. He still holds the line, he's still here! Uh, is able to find his one, but that's all it'll be with 10 seconds left. Genji hurried and rushed to try to get the spike down the satchel just a tiny bit off the mark, and success found. Stink, so down, Heretics will have an opportunity to rethink how they want to approach this. Avenger fourth, and a different segmented approach. Karen never saw him, never had a shot at fighting back. Texture and Meteor will crumble, they will fall! Unless Meteor can pull this off on his own, a 1v1 with Ghost in hand, 67 HP. All of the onus is on Pad Attack, and Meteor is able to get the easiest kill of his life. The Red Bull clutch as he gets four. Four for the Cypher. We thought that it was gonna end short, right? We thought it was gonna be a quick day, but... What a gift this series has been. Yeah, it definitely looked like it earlier on. The resilience from both sides, it's shown like no other. It's been quite the spectacle. As we proceed to this anti-eco, a B main default. No cam being broken though, so a late tap of that from Benji Fishy will give the cue for Heretics to rotate more players towards A. He's not using it yet. Like it's an accelerated approach towards the middle of the map. There it is. Taps the cam, gets info, no one's B main, and the rotation's set in. Heretics, although they don't have the gun advantage, they could get ahead of this. A thrifty in a situation like this would be ridiculous. It would be absolutely, it would be absolutely ridiculous. And there's an omen flash here as well. They're ahead of it. They're here, they've arrived. They're gonna try to dig their heels in. It's a really early nade from Woot. Do they try to flip back again? I think they have to, they know. Oh no, great, they're committing. The satchel out, the flash forth, and texture. Cracks the side, went open, but Woot's on the counter. Meteor pushing forward. Benji Fishy getting the best of him. But a 1v2 now. Can he upgrade a weapon? I don't think there's anything that he can find. So he's gonna have to push forth with the classic. And he's dropped before he even gets a chance to fight back. Such a ridiculous advantage. This is that conditioning from the previous round. They can be main control once again. Testing the waters, testing the one way. That smoke is tough though, man. There's no real way to challenge that. Yeah, it makes it so awkward. They can see a sliver of you spam where they think you might go. So they waited out, or at least they tried to. It's refreshed. Yeah. Good job so far from Heretics denying that rocket. That was Genji's plan, and they've thwarted it completely. You know, Genji never had one attempt at this, though. More than one take. So they rotate back A. And lo and behold, it would be Benji Fishy who's challenged once more. Trips and cages, yep. cameras, full surveillance. Here come the lineups. This should get most of the trips. But Benji Fishy, he's going to have to rely on his cages. Both cleared with one nade. Ridiculous. And now the rollout. Texture getting high ground, trying to find comfort behind the screens and drops Benji Fishy for it. Texture will not be denied. As he finds more ult online now. I don't know the hair.
Heretics can find a way back into this one, Dre. Not this round. We've seen 5v3s, but it's been a long time. They're not even going for it. They've conceded. They've thrown in the towel on this round. Texture is an animal. From last map to this map. He's been a rising star. An attempt at hunting will ultimately net nothing. I can't imagine the hood, the timings to get there. So it seems like, barring something spicy at the end, well, yeah. it, of course it would be Rian's, wouldn't it? Choosing to swing into that. Whoa. Easy now. You want to keep those. He will survive. The weapons will be carried over. And that's a big win for Heretics, given how the rest of or the rest of that round went. Full A hit with that lineup nade again. They found so much success here, but they do have four rifles. There it is, the rocket invested. They're scattering. There was only one here, though. Benji Fish falls to flash over the top. Meteor trying to play his time right. Gets one for it. Three ends a bullet between his eyes. And Hope sinks away. Another disastrous start for the number two seed from EMEA. And another explosive start for Texture onto that A site. Boo, I mean, he kind of wanted to go for it, but now he can't. That smoke denies any possibilities of getting back into the round. Such a nice read from Gen G, such nice prep to deal with those trips. That nade is clearing out every single one of Benji Fishy's trips. You might see him rotate over towards that B site now or have to use more passive site trips. Maybe in that setup, something of the sort. Yeah, he has to. He's not getting any value there. He had. Nade forward, satchels up, texture in. Such a pace. Forget about the attempt at fighting back. They take it so quickly. Benji Fishy down here. He's got a sheriff, oh. but he has no help. Right off the bat, the Sentinel crumbles. They're just running Benji Fishy down at every site he's been playing so far. And they're not slowing down whatsoever. I mean, they have no reason to. No resistance has been met. That feels like the first real advantage, I guess, if you want to call it that. It's just been tough sledding. Genji gets to five. And you spoke about it. What is left in the tank? Heretics. Another fast rollout. Another sight hit potentially on Benji Fishy. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, Meteor, the lurk was caught. That's gonna cause a speed up. On the side of Genji, they have yep. no info, they have no space. Yeah, but where do they speed up to? I mean, they still have these trips they have to deal with. It's a dog. Like it, boy. Yeah, there you go. The first one goes down, but you haven't cleared Benji Fishy. Not yet. Texture over the top, and Woot drops him. Investing more util as Lockie is on the swing, and Pat attacks on the green. Down B. A response from Heretics. There are the signs. First it's one, then it's two, then three. All of a sudden, it's an even score. What can they do to make that not happen? What have they learned? The conditioning is so nice. They try to invest utility to clear out the trips that aren't there. But Genji found a little bit of space. Karen over the top. The guardian angel for Genji. Patatek and Benji Fisher are forced to rotate back over to the site, but they're so outnumbered at this point. The spike is planted. The guns are down. Attack. I mean, I, I guess the rest of your team has some money. I guess maybe you go for it. Flash in the face, Meteor Falls. Benji Fishy getting active, creeping forward, Karen down. But the trade timing is just too nice. Lucky against his three seekers online. Is Genji get another round? No, Genji. had a wild round right there, Doug. A double TP Heretics. play. He's got a lot to fight back with here. Four members on light armor, sure, but look at the alts. You can tell for Gen G the approach has become 
quickly get to B, try to clear out any Cypher utility that might be there, and then play the rest of the map. And if you looked at the map earlier, the rotations, I mean, there was Pad Attack and Woot already ready and willing to come there to the rescue for the anchors on the site. That's how much fear Genji have put into this team of Heretics. And leaving one here this time to break the info utility, that's going to keep a couple players here. I mean, Woot, he doesn't know what to do. He's jumping back and forth. If you looked at the minimap, he's staying B heaven, and now it's going to be an A hit. The difference maker here is that site trip. Heralds has Benji Fishy one more. Seekers online and invested forward. Patatek had no chance to fight back. What an entry. And now the map opens up. A counter. Seekers from the side of Heretics. But they don't know what's going on. They have no info. Texture's 9 and 4 right now. One away from his ult. Ah, my eyes are dull. 30 seconds left. The swing out forward. Heretics are here. And it's just Woot. Benji Fishy playing back site. The trips, a little bit of safety, a little bit of cover, but now Texture understanding where his prey lays. And with 10 seconds left, they've cracked the thing wide open. 10 seconds left. So patient, so precise, waiting for the double swing. Texture, he crept up forward. I mean, they knew off of that satchel of Woot that there was a player in elbow. And they're not making mistakes this time. They're swinging together. The fundamentals are in full effect. The mistakes that we saw on Ascent gone. A distant memory. And obviously they looked so clean on Lotus. You wouldn't think, you wouldn't suggest that they would rear their ugly heads once more. This has been as clean as you could possibly ask for for Gen.G. One enemy remaining. My ultimate is ready. They're hunting. hunting. They're playing everything by the book. Everything is considered. The economy is just insane right now for Gen.G. They can probably buy for the rest of the half. Every gun a bit of taken. A new look. That B main room, but no satchel to follow up this time. And it's a change of pace. Genji have been putting on so much pressure. And this time they just freeze off Got the Got a mid around. trap. Yeah, waiting put for a mid trap. Any type of aggression from Heretics. <laughs> waiting for any info. That flash gets no value, and the punish is there for Texture. What a beautiful call. Munchkin. I know exactly where you are. He's been so great this entire tournament, this entire year. They have so much, they have so much of an advantage right now in every single facet of the game. They're perfectly okay with investing a Cypher ult right now. And as all this sound is being made water, Munchkin just walks out B and he's gonna call them back. Yo, I got B, guys. It's, it's as by the book, it's as clinical as it could possibly be. Boo, taking the head off of Lakia there will keep things interesting, I suppose, but again, min-maxing the orbs, getting everything they want, and spike. then some. 30 seconds left. This call, I mean, this, this round from beginning to end was spike a beautiful landed. display of calling. The only thing heretics have going for them right now is hope. And hope dies last. But it's on. I mean, it's on a lifeline. Paranoia out. Heretics all huddled up in heaven, waiting for the flash to come through, waiting for the swing to connect. And yes, a couple oh, kills. Going bad. But is there enough time to make this happen? A 2v2, Munchkin and Karen trying to stabilize the situation. Who will fall? Pat Attack's left alone. And much like what's been the case this series, Heretics get to the doorstep of something special. And the yeah, door Let's go. Over, all over on this map. The last two maps. One of come the most on, dominant split attack sides I've seen. And there might be more to come. Probably one of the best. For a gun round success has already started off on the wrong foot. B is completely busted wide open. But there's no real chance to even fight back. They don't even have a chance to try to deny the hit because circles are being run around them. Welcome to my world. What a pit. Look at how deep that goes. It doesn't get much easier than this. Okay. A little bit of pressure will be alleviated, yes, but 
Another 2v4. Another seemingly hopeless situation. And another that is the funniest thing. For Genji. <laughs> Thanks to good up ever pulled up. Doug. Last time Genji played for it was in Iceland. That was so long ago. And now Genji have the opportunity to do something really special in a number of different ways. Let's get him uh, Apex plus title. Let's go. Another. Oh, let's get this Vix plus title. Another ridiculous Vix call. And oh. the doubt that creeps in. Oh my gosh. For it's, heretics. It's it's a terrible feeling. You're already losing 9-1. And these guys are playing this slow. It's kind of like rubbing dirt in a wound. Page three. And now a confident call to arms for Genji as they turn their attention towards A. Perhaps the first time they'll be able to fight back as there is some presence here on the site, but they don't really have the guns to do it. If Genji transition into B heaven and use the showstopper, I'm gonna lose it, Doug. Cause that would be the perfect call. Cam's cleared and Rians has to give some of the space back up, but and you can tell it's such a miserable spot to be in because you want to try to fight back. You want to try to make something happen. There's the rollout. Texture pushing forward in the pit now. Oh, he's going to get dropped. The fuse is extinguished as Panatek gets two. No joy. Meteor will fall as well. That's the round they win. A MasterCard 3 for Heretics as they get their second. I gotta say that was a brilliant round. Decide to fight fire with fire. That's because like they didn't expect the trap right outside the white white roll. So yeah. But that sight trip, that little change, it finally yeah. gave some value to the anchors of that A site. Gave them a false confidence that uh extra broke it with it with this made. But in fact he didn't actually. That's that's what we have to expect from Benji Fishy. That's what he's been doing wrong. Okay. Trying to force some fight. In the eleventh hour, they have to find a way to convert. Heretics in such a tough spot here. Rians has his seekers. They're already seeing him satchel forward back towards B. Benji Fish is doing the best he can to keep him back. They've drawn the paranoia out though. And now Genji can flip the map once more. That omen ult is gonna have Team Heretics guessing about where he could be. That's why you saw Benji Fishy clearing out all backside. They know now that he's not on the play. And smoke will cover the trip if Genji want to go forward mid. They're going to have to deal with that. The truth is, they have a couple of ways to go about it as well, should they choose to do so. And meanwhile, for Heretics, as you see a couple of members anchored on B, eyes rise to turn tides. They have to find success here. What a call and what a play from Munchkin. If he's able to get anything, any kill here, it's massive. Oh, 30 seconds left. And he very well might do so. He's challenging Woot. Meanwhile, the hit on the other side, the paranoia is out. Woot keeping the line. Spike down. Holding feet. them back. Cover going down. And yeah, it doesn't ask but the other guy. Oh. Benji Fishy. Yeah. 13 seconds yeah, left. The spike is out. Save the gun, bro. Munchkin thought he was the left. one making a play. He was the one. Drawing misdirection on the other side of the map, and he was wrong. Oh, yeah. For heretics, the pressure is unsurmountable. But if you make one that, mistake, uh, Genji can yeah. run away with this thing. Probably is another like trying to mean another map or something like that. Uh, not really wash sure. you like they did in the first half. I mean, they're trash on heaven. And what's the be new be map? I'm <laughs> not even sure magnitude, how it's going to be for Don't start in the no. server. They start in the mind. They start in the mental. All of the questions are of how much is left in the tank for heretics are coming to a head. They're demanding an answer right now. Heretics deciding to turn towards B. The paranoia is out. All of the utility to try to obfuscate what their approach is. Okay. And Woot and Benji Fishy able to get a couple here. But Meteor yeah. and Lockie on the trade. Grenade. Threes apiece. Everyone is here. As again, utility becomes a problem. Nice. Let's go. Three more rounds. 
Three more rounds. Let's go. Meteor the anchor. The is that nade? That raised nade actually. Almost secures it. That raised nade actually secured that round. When you think it's in hand, is when things slip out of grasp, yeah. out of reach. Heretics choosing not to invest very much. Three sheriff, four sheriffs, excuse me. And no a roll. Oh. Nice. Nice. Oh, that would be. Oh, wow. We warned about this. We warned about the possibility of being so close, yet so far, who will fall? Now, Pad Attack and Rient have to turn their attention towards B, and of course, they're already here. Karen's waiting. Posted up like a watchman backside. And he's been so cold in these moments when he's anchoring. He doesn't panic when he gets double swung. He commits to one of the kills, but he's moving. He's alone here and gets them both. It's their title. Now two steps away. It got Karen, you got this, buddy. You got this. But Gen G secured the round. And their fans can feel it. Uh, Heretics is feeling a lot of the pressure here, too. Come on, come on, come on. Look at how aggressive an approach this has been from Gen G to start the round. What they were looking for, they have found. The orb in the hands of Texture. Three away. And just like that, things are forced to slow down. No sky flashes for Rians. Wait. Boot is going to have a hard time entering. Boo is the only one that has a flash available for his side of the team. Look at that triple stack on site. They're all here. That has to be so a rush. To fight. They know. They know they baited out both flashes. Crosshair's trained. And this doesn't feel difficult for Gen G. They've handled this so well. It's stacking the side. But they're backing off. They've left Lockheed alone. An opening for Heretics. He's on an island. No way. The flash on the other side of the cage. Oh, but he doesn't swing. Wisely takes a step back, but makes his presence back. known. Okay. Meanwhile, can Karen strike from the discipline corner as they roll out onto the site? They're spotting one. And now what are you know, doing, Boot? Gen G are trying to make this thing work. They're trying okay. to fight him back with the inferior okay. weaponry, okay. but with 30 nice. seconds left, they've got to go. Heretics have no time to slow this down. Left. Meteor so far away. Of course, it's texture to potentially secure the round. The spam's not going to connect. Nice. Pat attacks left alone. Can Pat attack deliver with eight bullets to his name? He too will crumble. Match point. Let's go. What a nice setup on site. Timeouts Playing to call. Is this uh, where the heretic story ends? Uh, come on, come on, guys. Come on. Begins. Let's go. Looking to put the finishing touches on this now. Yeah, it's gone the distance. It's gone all five. But you wouldn't believe it with how Genji plays. He's so anxious, guys. Nice. Heretics uh, have to make something happen here. The paranoia as they try to satchel out into heaven. But they've only gotten to mail. Satchel out. Texture forced to try to hold the line. Satchel traded. Ah, Petty Peck. Nice. Nice. Benji Fishy dead. Nice. Last man. Yes. Woohoo. Woo World champion. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Got a feel for them, but they deserve it more. Coaching several. What a what a job. What a job. What a job. What a what a game.
Our team has started in Korea. Yeah. Good job, Good job. Good job. Come on, don't. Oh, yeah. Let's go.